Wara here, at your service. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Actually, I haven't been doing that in the previous videos until now. What do we have here? Oh, this is our feature. What is that thing on our page? I want to see feature animal. What a weird looking animal. Is that a jellyfish? My goodness, look at the tentacles on that thing. Ooh, it's kind of creepy looking, eh? God, jellyfish are pretty cool creatures though. Yep. Oh, okay. This is a jellyfish that talks. I forgot. Our feature animals do talk from time to time. Yes. Very nice. Okay. He's giving us some information. Yeah, they've been around for a pretty long time, I reckon. Yep. Oh, get out of here. Really? A group of you guys are called a smack of jellyfish? Okay. Oh, he's going to give us a lot of info. Okay, I'm um, sorry. We need to kind of, you know, make you small. Time to get small. Since some of you guys get really huge, this guy, we're going to turn you into a little small guy. Whoa, he even got all scrunched up. Ah! Ow! 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 No, just kidding. All right, Mr. Wart, really. It's just so much fun. Okay, what are we doing here? Welcome, friends, to another math lesson. This is lesson 11.5. I think Mr. War is going to stop playing for the time being. Look at our topic, unit cubes and solid figures. Yeah, unit cubes, I love those. Ooh, I love geometry and that kind of thing. We're doing measurement and data. This is the category. But our essential question, which is our purpose, our learning target, is what is a unit cube and how can you use it to build a solid figure? Cool. All right. Well, this is a hands-on activity. That's right. See our purple hands there letting us know that we're going to be investigating. So maybe this is something that you want to do along uh, at home or in your class or something like that. Here we go. Time to investigate. That does say here, it says you can build rectangular prisms using unit cubes. How many different rectangular prisms can you build with a given number of unit cubes? Well, we're looking at this unit cube here and we're going to call that the distance from one side to the next is one unit. You can see that the actual edge is what we kind of think of that right there, the edge of two faces coming together because it also identifies what a face is. And that's that two dimensional little, looks like a square. And that face has an edge, it has four edges and it shared that edge with another face. Now it does say you're gonna need some centimeter cubes to do this activity. Now unit cube, as it's highlighted, is a cube that has a length, width, and height of one unit. And one unit is just whatever that unit happens to be. It could be an inch, it could be a centimeter. That's So a cube has blank square faces. We may be able to pick up your own cube and see that to know which one's a face. Now we just talked about this here is going to be one face right here. So if this is one face, then how many faces does a unit cube have? Yeah, you probably figured it out. It has six square faces. One, two, on the other side, three, four, five, six. Just like your die. If you're going to roll a die, you know, one dice, one die is called. You throw a die and that's going to have six sides, numbers one through six. All of its faces are congruent, meaning each one of those faces is the same. It's equal. So it's going to have, well, how many edges are we going to have? Well, if you, again, you can look at your unit cube and you start counting all the edges. I see one, two, three, four, and then I see another one, two, three, four, another one, two, three, four. So if that's true, I'm counting 12 edges. Okay, because this here's an edge right here. This is another edge right here, another edge over here. Okay, so if you count it, we could go one, two and there's one here on the other side that's three and that's four okay then we have one here one here one here and one here and then if we go over here we can also say that these are these are actually congruent to those but we'll put three mark and then we can't see the other two they're on the other side one down here and one on the bottom so if that's four that's four and that's four we get four times three which by the way yeah it's 12. i know okay so the lengths of all its edges are equal all right let's look at a a states Build a rectangular prism with two unit cubes. It says, think, when the two cubes are pushed together, the faces and edges that are pushed together make one face and one edge. Okay, I can see where maybe that might be a little bit confusing. Let's go ahead and grab two unit cubes. Woohoo, there they are, two of them. It says that when they're pushed together, so let's push them together and let's, well first, let's remind ourselves we have, remember, six faces and 12 edges for each unit cube. So what happens when we push them together? Look at this. Okay, we end up with, yeah, we lose the two faces that were on the inside. However, we still have one whole face here. This is what they mean by when they're pushed together, it makes one face. Even though you see that black line, 
right there. We know that edge disappears once those two go together. So we end up with just one face there, one face there on the top. That's what they mean by it makes one face and one edge. And the one edge is referring to the fact that it's just the edge along here all the way across. So it's interesting because, so then how many faces does the rectangular prism have? It has exactly the same amount as we had with just one cube, six faces. Now the question asks, how many edges does the rectangular prism have? Well, again, we just mentioned we have the exact same amount of edges as well. We had 12 edges and now we have still 12. Nothing changed, okay? Because we have four over here, okay? And then we also have, remember, we have four on the other side. And then looking here, you can see that we have four edges here too. We have one here, here's two, there's three, here's four. So we have four going this way. Remember, that black line in there doesn't count. So we end up with four, yeah, four, eight, 12. We end up with how many edges? We end up with 12 edges. That seems easy enough, doesn't it? Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Build as many different rectangular prisms as you can with eight units. Record in units the dimensions of each rectangular prism you built with eight cubes. Okay, so our answers could vary here. So I'm going to move some of my stuff off to the side. Move this guy up here. Thank you for getting out of the way. And I'll see what I can do with building eight of them. Okay, so I took my eight units there, my eight unit cubes. I put them together and I made myself, looks like another just a larger unit cube looks like it because it has the same same shape. And so now I need to, it says C, record in units the dimensions of each rectangular prism you built with a cube. So let's start off with this one. So I guess here I'm just going to put the uh, length and we'll put the width and this is the height. I kind of think of the length as this section that kind of goes here in the back, this being the length, this being the width, and this being the height. So in unit cubes, then I'm going to go ahead and put the length here is going to be two. And then here I have uh, another two for the width and then another two. They're all the same, two, two, and two. And this is, again, I used eight unit cubes. I guess all of them would say the same thing. Well, let's see if I can make another design. Okay, so here's another example. I have my eight unit cubes. This time I just stacked them in kind of two towers next to each other. Okay, so in this case, now I have my length. It's usually the longer side. So here I'm gonna think of that as width and I'm thinking that is height. And you hear the length here and this particular one is still gonna be two. That didn't change. The width though is only one now and my height it gained by four. Okay, and again, I was still using the same amount of unit cubes. So those are the dimensions. So with eight unit cubes, I can build, let me see, is there like a third one? example of another rectangular prism and this one here the length here is going to be eight your width is going to be one and your height's only going to be one okay but not totally sure i'm pretty sure those are three ways that you could do it now let's go ahead and call page master so explain why rectangular prism composed of two unit cubes has six faces how do its dimensions compare to a unit cube well, here I see the two on the outside, and then I see the four. And even though you see this edge, they actually come together. That edge disappears here. So don't be confused with that black line. That's not an edge because those two cubes are coming together. So we end up with one face, two faces, three, four, and then two, six faces. How do its dimensions compare to a unit cube? So let's, here's the unit cube. How does it compare? Okay, so by comparing those two different rectangular prisms, just the unit cube with the two unit cubes, why it has six faces is two of the faces, they're eliminated because they're put together. So it's like one face of each of the unit cubes completely covered by the other unit when they go together. Does that make sense? Both of those faces are on the inside of the prism. That's why they can't be counted now. And also the prism then has just one dimension now that is two units rather than the one. So now the dimension here is two units 
as opposed to just the one unit it had here. Okay, let me go ahead and write those notes down. Okay, I think that kind of explains it. Let's go ahead and move on to number two. Number two says, explain how the number of edges for the rectangular prism compares to the number of edges for the unit cube. Okay, well, we looked at this one, I think, in the previous page. The number of edges is going to be the same from the unit cube and the two. If you look at it, let's go up above. See, here we have 12 edges. But when we come over here, we still end up with 12 edges. The only edges we lose are the ones from the inside here. But you see, we gain those right back on the outside. So we didn't really lose any. So it's going to be the same. There you go. The number of edges for the rectangular prism and the unit cube are the same 12 edges. Okay. Describe what all of the rectangular prisms you made in step B have in common. Okay, in step B, okay, so they're referring to all of these that we built, the three different uh, rectangular prisms that we built with the eight unicubes. Well, the thing that I can really see in common with all of that is we used exactly the same number of unicubes. That didn't change. We used eight unicubes for each one of those rectangular prisms. All three rectangular prisms I built were with the exact same number of unicubes. Eight unicubes. Cool, cruising on. This is so much fun. Now it's time to make connections. Okay, you can build other solid figures and compare the solid figures by counting the number of unicubes. Figure one is made up of, it's letting us know right there by putting the numbers on there, six unicubes. So figure one has more unicubes than figure two. Okay, I skipped across here. Oops, I looked at that because I saw the five. That was so easy. Five unicubes. So it says use 12 unicubes to build a solid figure that is not a rectangular prism. Share your model with your partner. I guess you guys are going to be my partner today. <laughs> Describe how your model is the same and how it is different from your partner's model. Well, this one will be pretty difficult to share with you for you to see and then respond to me so that I can write my notes down what your look like. But in class, or if you're home with your parents, you could do this with unit cubes and go ahead and do what this question is asking you to do. There's so many different combinations with 12 of them. I will have some fun and just show you mine. This is what my solid figure would look like. It's not a rectangular prism. And so you could actually compare your own with this particular one. Unless you've done this in class, obviously you can do that with your partner. So you can start comparing the dimensions of, of your solid figures. Uh, just describe how your model is the same, okay? And how it is different from your partner's model. So any answer would suffice. Okay, my friends. Hey, hey, I hear that music coming in. It's time to go. Man, this video was really by fast. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now, live long.